Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a review on the Samsung Star um, GTS5 233S or aka Samsung Taco Lite. <clears throat> I have the black version. So first I'm just going to go through hardware. Um, as you guys can see, you got a uh, touch screen. It's not really, it's a... Um, What's it called? iPhone's called like a capacitive touchscreen or something. And then I, I don't know, but this one is definitely not like the iPhone or iPod touches uh, touchscreen because you have to actually apply pressure on like just normally touching it like that. So yeah. Um, and here we have the back button, uh, the answer key, <clears throat> and the end key. And we have a screen. Um, it's a three inch screen, LCD screen, and it's a Samsung logo, and your speaker grill. Um, as you guys can see, you may think my screen is very scratched. Um, that's just a screen protector, because as you guys can see, I got a screen protector aligned there. So, if I take this off, my screen should be really clean, because... That the minute I bought this, I bought a screen protector too, and the guy installed it for me, so which is nice. And then the back, it's sort of, um, oh, what's that, a glossy feel to it, but with little texture, like a dot texture. But this, I swear to God, guys, this scratches away easily. Like, I mean, most of you guys would probably put your phone in your pocket like I do. It will scratch. Um, right here, we have... 3.2 megapixel camera obviously if it's 3.2 then the resolution is pretty high or pretty decent right for a cell phone even though yeah but the thing is there is no image stabilization so that means if you take a picture and you move around a bit it will turn out kind of blurry and it does not have a flash it just has a self portrait mirror and obviously the lens but and it does not have autofocus. You have to choose between macro and infinite or whatever the other one is. So yeah, that's the back. Um, here, top right corner, you got your place where you put your stylus. Right? Uh, I don't really use it, really. I don't know why they include it. Only like business people use it. Here you have your hole to put your, um, like a... A lanyard or um what's that called uh a charm or something like that here is your dedicated camera button uh here is your unlock button so like when it's in lock mode you press it uh that's it for the right side on the left side you have your port for charging or connect it, connecting it to usb and you have your volume knockers so if I take the back, take this off, you get your SIM card slot, which is exposed, which is not really normal for phones. And then under here, I, I put tape on the battery so it won't fall off because it falls off easily. Oh God, bless me. Anyways, yeah, under here you have your memory stick slot right there. I don't really know why they put the memory stick slot there. Like, you have to literally take off the battery to access it, which is really retarded. And they should have put it, like, here, or better yet, put the SIM card under here while well, they put the memory card right there. So, horrible design by Samsung. So, just put that on. And you just simply... See, in the glare, you guys, it's very scratched up. Just snap it back on. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the hardware. Nothing on the top. Um, on the bottom, you just obviously get your microphone. If you want to see unboxing of it, you got to just go to um, my previous video. which shows everything what's in the box. So, that's the box. It just shows everything that came with it, you know, standard stuff. So, just check that out. So, let me just boot this up back here. To do that, you just simply hold the end key shows the model number up there 
Samsung website. And by the way, you guys, this does have an internal accelerometer just like the iPhones. But it's not really used for the same thing. Well, it is It is basically used for the same thing, but does not show the right, the same performance. You know what I mean. Smiley face. So yeah.